Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, make a video on this because I really didn't have much information when uh, there was an issue on this truck. Now this is a 2006 Freightliner M2. It is the business class model, but I believe they're the same between each. So this truck, the original issue that it had was the signal lights on the hood up here. Um, they're like a marker slash signal light along with the signal lights that are down here and the brake slash signal lights in the back they would all flash even when the truck was off didn't matter if you had your four-way switch on or off if you had the truck on or off they would just flash all the time and also this light over here the left or i guess it'd be the right side low beam bulb was lit and like i say it didn't matter if the truck was on or off that's just what it would do and uh, after doing some research and reading, I have found that this here is called your bulkhead module. Now on this connector, there is a yellow and a green wire. Those are your CAN communication lines. Okay, and they run out and down to the engine control module. And they also run to a module under here called the chassis control module. And that's right there. So... You can see, I believe it's that connector right there on the end. That one has the uh, yellow and green wire, the communication line. Now, there's a fail-safe system that's put in place on these trucks in case this module or the other module die for some reason or if the communication is severed. So basically what how this works is this bulkhead module receives all the inputs from switches and sensors and all that stuff. It's like the brain of the whole electrical system. It then sends a communication signal via the CAN network to the whatever module. Now, in this case, for all the lighting stuff, it sends a, a message to the chassis control module. And the chassis control module controls all of your light outputs. So it goes from the light switch, let's say, then it sends that input to the instrument control uh, cluster. And then from there, it comes out to here, and from here to the chassis control module, and from there to the lights. So it's pretty complex, but bear with me. So it sends a signal to the chassis control module. The tra chassis control module says, okay, we wanna turn the lights on. Now, back to the fail safe thing that I was talking about. Um, this module controls the left headlight and the chassis control module controls the right headlight. So if, like I say, if one of these modules were to go out, then it at least leaves you with one light on to, so that you can see in the nighttime. It's kind of a half-assed dumb system, but whatever. Um, now, I thought, okay, maybe one of these modules is dead. And I thought it was this one because we had the left headlight was out. So uh, I really didn't have any codes in the system. So that really threw me off. But what it was, was I had a broken green can wire. So I don't know if that's can high or can low, but you'll see if you open up the loom, the it's a twisted pair and the yellow and the green get twisted up and they go inside of a black sheath that then runs through the harness. And like I say, it goes from here to the engine control module and then it comes out of the plug from the engine control module and it goes down the harness. Now, the place that we found this brake, I'm gonna show you because you might have it on your truck too, is right up in there. You see that connector at the top of the transmission? I'm gonna try to zoom in for you. that connector right there. Now the wiring was rubbing on the edge of the transmission and it uh, rubbed right through that green wire and that was it. Um, the network went down, went into fail safe mode and it uh, turned on all the four way flashers permanently. And it also turned on the right side low beam headlight bulb permanently. Didn't matter if you had the truck on or off. So hope this helps you if you have this issue. Hopefully it helps you. And uh, if you got any questions, throw them down in the comments below. 
these trucks the truck industry is crazy for uh not giving you any information on things i actually called freightliner to talk to them about it and because i work at an independent shop and uh they just laughed at me and they said uh you're just a backyard mechanic send it to the dealership if you want it fixed so it's pretty pathetic when you have a uh, bunch of freightliner trucks and they tell you something like that so hopefully this helps you if you got any questions throw them in the comments below and uh don't forget to subscribe to the latest content thanks see ya